Hi, I'm Dr. Anthony Malou from Eyes and Faces and Cornea and Ocular Plastic Surgery in Sydney. We need surgery for pterygium because there is no medical treatment. Pterygium is a scar that grows across the eye. It's literally a scar that walks across the surface of the eye and it keeps going. It can cause you irritation, redness, discomfort, social embarrassment. The cops can pull you up and accuse you of taking drugs. Your friend thinks you're on drugs or you're hungover. But the problem is that it keeps growing and it can cause vision loss. There is no medical treatment. It's got to come off. Very interesting question as to why pterygiums occur. But the eyeball is this round structure and I can look to my left and right. And when I do that at a speed, there's something called angular velocity. The eye can move rapidly to one side or the other. If I rotated my body at that speed, I'd fall over and not be passed out. So how can the eye move so quickly and not deliver a shock? It's surrounded by a very soft coating, like a soft sponge, and that in turn is surrounded by fat. So it's a shock absorber. The problem is in that soft coating, there's cells, and those cells, when they're switched on, become aggressive scar, which acts like concrete, and it can just contract and uh, pull the eye to one direction if it's very aggressive. It also accounts for the recurrence of pterygium after pterygium surgery. What we do is we've got to do something which I call clear and close. When you remove the pterygium, that's just the beginning of your surgery. You've got to go in there and remove all that soft, spongy, fibrous tissue because if you don't, it'll recur. That's clearance. An extended clearance is going all the way around the side of the eye to make sure it's gone. Once that's done, you then close it using a transplant. So that's a bit of tissue from one side of the eye brought across to the other side of the eye. That old procedure is called extended removal and extended closure, and it is the gold standard for pterygium surgery. It takes time. We have to stitch the graft in, but that's the best way to treat pterygium, reduce your risk of recurrence to way less than 1%, and produce a white eye. Thanks for watching. I'm Anthony Malouf from Cornea and Ocular Plastic Surgery and Eyes and Faces in Sydney.